Last week, you put out a press release saying, we're still standing. You made a reference to a Mark Twain quote that said, reports of your demise were greatly exaggerated. Three months from now, is MoviePass still going to be operating? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm definitely here. Uh, you know, I'm not here to like embarrass myself and say say yes. But, you know, we have built an amazing group of people who every single day are are working hard to make sure that not only does this exist, but that we really fulfill our mission. And, and that's create a way for independent filmmakers to get their film seen on the big screen. One final point on this and, and we'll move on, but what are the chances that you're not able to do this. I mean, you have made a number of changes just in the past couple of weeks. Lots what of are, changes. Lots of changes. What are the chances that Movie Pass can't stay afloat if you had to put a percentage to it? Boy, I don't, you know, I just don't think that way. People could, uh, you know, call me naive, but you can't, you can't um, run a startup with all its challenges. And especially you can't be a leader if you have any doubts that you can't, that you're not going to make it. Um, yes, there's lots of things that I that scare me, and lots of things that um, that I'm always concerned about. But uh, you can't think that way. You just have to, you know, work as hard as you can and solve problems. I'm of the belief that almost any idea can be turned into a business if you just execute properly and have enough resources uh, to have the time uh, to refine your model. And that was our big challenge is that we grew so fast and required so much capital and we're in a public company environment that we weren't given enough time to do what other companies uh, like us do. Remember, it took uh, Netflix 38 months to get to 1 million subscribers. It took us four. And so that created uh, a lot more need for cash while we hadn't really refined the business model. We were kind of doing that while we grew. You know, in, in, in April, an auditor raised substantial doubts about your ability to stay in business. And yeah. when we spoke last time, you said that this auditor did not really understand the, the kind of the, the subscription business. Um, and you said that you would not only be in business, but you'd be profitable in 2019. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel that way? Will you be in existence next year and will you be profitable next year? I think it's even more likely now because of this new business model. And, uh, and, it's, and it's because, like I said, the 15% of our subscribers were using not half, but almost half of our cost of goods. So this makes it a lot easier. We will be in business and I can't think any other way. I, every day I, I'm trying to figure out how to make sure uh, that that uh, auditor uh, was wrong. And by the way, I remember going home uh, after I had met Mark Randolph and talked about uh, the idea of mailing DVDs to people's homes. I was so excited and I told my family that about this idea and they said, Dad, that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. And it's those kinds of motivations to prove people wrong that oftentimes can get you through uh, some of these tough days. This is from your Netflix days, yeah. your early days of Netflix when you experienced this. So you, do you yeah. feel that similar motivation now? I mean, when you're talking to your to your closest employees, I mean, is this, are you kind of feeding off this negativity? I mean, is there kind of this feeling that everybody's getting it wrong, we will we will outlast them and be be okay? Absolutely, it is the, the team is completely motivated uh, to prove the naysayers wrong. And, uh, yes, you know, of course, there's a chance we're going to fail. I think there's a Teddy Roosevelt quote that's, uh, that, and I wish I remembered it, but if you're going to fail, fail really big trying to do really big things. And, and I know that's not the right quote, but that's the, the sense of it. So everybody feels like we're on a mission. It's doable. It's really just a matter of getting it right and not letting, you know, all these other uh, folks uh, trying to bring us down.